Hi, it's Rinkans, and this is Neon Light CSS3 Animation. Hello guys and what is going on? In this episode you are going to learn how to make Neon Light Animation with pure CSS magic. As you can see we have few things going on here in this animation and all together it just creates real neon light vibes. Before we dive into coding it I want to let you know that all of the resources including the final code will be in the description below so go ahead and check it out. We'll start by writing HTML. Let's create H1 heading. This heading will have two classes, neon heading and first. Text will be neon light tutorial. Right after that, let's create another heading with two classes, neon heading and second. Now what we're going to do is wrap those flickering letters in span elements so that we can target them later on with CSS. We will create span and give the flickering three class. This will be the first letter we wrap in span element. Then just copy it and paste it right here. And all we need to do is change the letter and also the class. We are going to do the same thing for the letter T in word light. Next one will be this letter. And the last one will be the last letter of word tutorial, that is the L. That will be it for HTML, we can now start writing CSS, but before that let's head to Google Fonts and find font called Dosis. We will select it, then check extra light version and just copy the code snippet right here and we will paste it in. Then also we will do basic reset, set margin and padding to zero. Then target body and set background color to black. Padding top will be 200 pixels to give the text some breathing room. Next for H1 heading with neon heading class we will change the color to white. Font family will be that DOS's font and we will fall back to Calibri and sans serif. Change the letters to uppercase, increase font size to 150 pixels, reduce the font weight to 200 and alignment will be centered. Now we will target the first neon heading to give it that neon sign looking shadow. And we're going to achieve it by setting multiple text shadows. So text shadows horizontal and vertical position will be equal to 0 pixels. But blur radius will be 10 pixels and color code will be 9D00FF. Then what we can do is just highlight the shadow properties and paste them 5 more times. For blur radius change it by increments of 10 pixels. As basically all the properties for the second heading will be the same, we can just copy and paste this code. Change the class to second, then we will change the color for text shadows. Now I'm just holding control and selecting multiple parts of the code. And the color code for this heading shadow will be 33FF00. Now we can save this document and have a look at it in the browser. So we have this neon light effect and you could actually leave it as it is right here. But what we'll do is go step further and add that cool animation. So first of all, let's leave a comment to know where those animations start. And by the way, you can check out my other video where I show how to comment code. But anyways, let's create keyframe animation and call it pulsating. At 0% mark we will set all text shadow values to 0 and opacity to 0 as well. At 50% mark we will copy and paste second neon heading text shadow properties and set opacity to 1. And at 100% mark we will set text shadow values to 0 and opacity to 0 as well. Then let's add that animation to second heading. It will happen over 3 seconds and it will be infinite or in other words the animation will loop. We can check it out in the browser. Next we will create another keyframe animation called flickering1. And for these flickering animations what we are going to do is basically change the opacity from 1 to 0 and back to 1 again to flicker that letter on and off. So at 0% mark opacity will be 1, at 52% it will be 1, at 55% it will be 0, at 56% it will be 1 and at 100% it will be 1 again. Then let's give span elements or letters we wrapped in spans those flickering animations. So for the span and with flickering1 class we will set animation equal to flickering1. That is a keyframe animation we just created. It will happen over 6 seconds and will be infinite. 
we can take a look at it in the browser now pay attention to the second n letter in the word neon okay it is coming together really nicely so let's continue set another keyframe animation called flickering 2 and the logic will be the same we will toggle the opacity so at 0% mark opacity will be 1 at 62% it will be 1 at 65 0 at 66% it will be 1 at 69 0 71 73 0 74 1 and 100% it will be equal to 1 then let's target span with flickering 2 class and set in animation we just created this animation will be three seconds long and infinite we can quickly view it in the browser now look at the first letter t in name tutorial okay and lastly we will make flickering 3 keyframe animation so the logic is the same at 0% mark opacity will be 1 at 82 1 at 84 0 at 85 1 at 87 0 at 88 1 at 90 0 at 91 1 and at 100% mark it will be 1 then for span with flickering 3 class we'll set in that animation as well it will be 5 seconds long and infinite now we can view the final work in our browser And that wraps up this episode guys, hope that you enjoyed it and found it useful. If you did, please like this video and subscribe for more design related inspiration. Thank you for watching and see you when I see you.